Welcome to a brand new episode of The Menu. According to the first three episodes, my driver's license, social security number, and all forms of documentation, I am Taryn Williams. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to get right into this episode. If you watched the last episode, you would know that this episode is about crepes, so you won't look at me for too long. We're getting to a course origin story and right to the cooking. So sit back and relax, and I will be right back. According to the Food Lovers Companion, 4th edition, crepe, which is the French word for pancake, can be made from plain or sweetened batters with various flours and used for savory or dessert dishes. Dessert crepes may be spread with a jam or food mixture, rolled or folded, and sometimes flamed with brandy or liqueur. Savory crepes are filled with various meat, cheese, or vegetable mixtures, sometimes topped with a complimentary sauce and served as a first or main course. Alright, so welcome back. So I got my ingredients all lined up as you can see. Going from left to right, I have my one cup of all-purpose flour. I have two large eggs courtesy of Dutch Farms once again. I have half a cup of milk, half a cup of water, I have some vanilla extract, then I have about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and then two tablespoons of melted butter. So sit back and relax, then we're gonna get into the mixing, and then after that we will get into the cooking. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're back, so now I'm gonna get to mixing our ingredients. First, I'm gonna start with our one cup of flour. Our two eggs. I'm gonna mix this together first. And just put the bowls so you can see. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. gonna add the rest of the milk and the rest of the water. So the biggest difference between crates and pancakes is drum roll please. There's actually no Baking powder and crepes. Now I'm gonna add my butter and my salt. That's how when you see a lot of pieces of crepes, they're extremely flat, so there's no baking powder to make it puff up. Or there's no chemical reaction. It's just all flour and water and milk and butter and stuff. My vanilla extract. Just about a cap full. You don't need too much. Because vanilla extract is actually really bitter. If you haven't actually tasted extract before, it's not sweet. Make sure y'all can see the bowl in the camera. And there we go. So there is your crepe batter. So next we get to the best part, which is actually putting it into a skillet. Yay. <laughs> Let my 
griddle heat up. As you can see, it's the same pan I used when I made my pancakes. So I've been letting it get nice and hot. I'm gonna pour some batter in. There we go. So of course the biggest difference between crepes and pancakes is the addition of baking powder. Pancakes have baking powder, crepes do not. So with pancakes, you can start seeing the bubbles, but you can tell that a pancake is ready to flip. Crepes, you kind of have to little, be a little bit more wary because there aren't going to be as many bubbles. Since there's nothing to activate. So you just kind of have to weigh it out and just take your time. Cut up the heat just a little bit. I always have to remember that this pan gets really hot on the handles because I'm. I actually never paid attention that the handles aren't like heat proof. So yeah. So when the <coughs> pan gets hot, the handles also get hot. So hold it one hand, put it with the other. And as you can see, the uh, crepes don't rise up. Which is fine. So if your crepe doesn't rise up, uh, doesn't rise up, excuse me, I can't talk today for some reason. Don't worry. This is how crepes are. They're difficult. This is flat pancakes. Just crank the heat up a little bit so I can get the other side. I'm probably just gonna do two crepes. You know, don't wanna get too crazy. I could do three because they're not that big. But again, just like pancakes, I'll just save the batter for the rest of my family. They'll enjoy crepes one day this week, maybe. So I'm going to grab my towel again. I'm just going to check it. Actually, I cook it back on the left side a little bit longer. So the goal is, I'm planning on recording every other week. So I'm recording this Thursday, so it won't be next Thursday, but the following Thursday, and keep going like that until I finish season one. I'm planning on season one being ten episodes. I think ten episodes would be a solid stopping point. And then I have no idea where to go from there. So if you saw my post on Facebook, I have six episodes planned. I have another one that I'm kind of thinking about doing, so that's seven in total. So I still need three more ideas to finish off the season. So if you have any suggestions, you leave comments, you can leave comments on this video, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, you can send me a smoke signal in the sky, Skywriters, whatever is more convenient to you. So just let me know, because I have seven in mind, but I just need one more to kind of round up the, round up the season. So my first crepe is done. And I'm just going to put on my second one. And that was actually a very good pour. Because some of my pours look really bogus. And I was playing like the first time you cook something. The first one usually comes out a little bit weird. But the first crate came out really good. And hopefully the second one will be better. But yeah. Also, if you have not gone out and see Captain America Civil War, please go see it. It's worth your it's worth your money, your investment. I would say go see it twice, but I don't see movies twice in the theaters, so that's all up to you. But it's really good. Like it really puts Batman vs Superman to shame. Sorry, DC. Get your movie game up. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to let this one cook a little bit more before I flip it. And actually, I'm going to hit the heat a little bit too. Just because I don't want to flip it and batter flies everywhere. That might have happened during an earlier take. It may or may not happen. Hint, hint. It probably did happen. I don't know. But yeah, so grab it. Here we go. Actually, it almost messed up, but it didn't. Now it just looks like graffiti, so... This video might end up being shorter than the omelet video, because the omelet video was only seven minutes. This one might actually be, not take that back, it'll probably be a little bit longer. It'll probably be like eight.
or something like that. It won't be like the hamburger rest uh, episode that was like almost half an hour. Okay, so I think this crepe is done. Let me just check it. Nah, it's not quite. So I'm gonna flip it back over. Okay, that was good. So I'm just gonna flip it back on that side and put it on my plate. So next we'll get to the presentation. Okay, so here are my crepes topped with a homemade banana caramel sauce with a little bit of powdered sugar. So I have to thank you all for watching episode 4 of The Menu. Like and subscribe. Tell me what y'all think. Also, I will definitely take ideas for future uh, episodes so I can finish out season 1. Of course, you know, SDG, Slicing, Dicing, Gaming. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Now hit the music. <laughs>